Welcome to lab three of the Summer Physics 187. This lab is going to look at the motion of the sun through the constellations over the course of the year. Last week you spent time identifying the constellations. This week you're going to see how the sun moves through those different constellations. You may notice, as we mentioned in the first lab of the semester, that the sun rises in different constellations over the course of the year. And what we are going to do in this lab is just simply track the path of the sun through the sky as it starts in maybe January and ends about 12 months later. As astronomers looked at the sky and watched the motion of the sun, they actually noticed that the sun stayed in a very narrow band in the sky, which we call the zodiac. And many of the constellations in that narrow band have names or images that are associated with animals. We have Leo the lion, we have Cancer the crab, we have Taurus the bull. Your goal for this lab is to track the motion of the sun across the sky, which essentially then will help you identify the constellations of the zodiac. The title of the lab, as it's listed here, will just be Constellations of the Zodiac. And when you open it up, what you will get is you will get a celestial sphere similar to what we had in the first portion, first lab of the semester. For this, you will want to make sure that you have Rotate Celestial Sphere off. And I'm just going to stop the animation so we can talk about what this will look like. Similar to the first lab, if I click on a particular star in this constellation, it will tell me the name of the constellation below the image of the celestial sphere. So right now, the sun is located in the constellation Aquarius. What you are going to do is you are going to track the motion of the sun throughout the celestial sphere as it moves through the different constellations and identify the constellations of the zodiac. Now the one thing I need to caution you of, um, if you've looked at the constellations of the zodiac, you know the 12 that are identified as such, but the Earth's orbit actually changes with time. And so the sun in our current universe will pass through different constellations, and the sun in this virtual universe will also pass through different constellations. So make sure you very carefully track the sun as it moves across the sky, and I think you'll notice you may actually find a 13th constellation for the zodiac. What you also need to do is make sure you record a time when the sun is in each of these different constellations. So for example, right now the sun is in the constellation Aquarius, and I would write down this particular time identifying that the sun started in Aquarius at a time of 64 hours, 36 minutes, and 51 seconds. I'll then start the animation. I will make sure the animation is going very fast. And notice that the sun will begin to move through the different stars. And as the sun moves through the stars, I can click on those stars, and I see the sun is still in the constellation Aquarius. It will continue to move, and I'm actually going to stand here and watch it move with you for a little bit of time. To see if it's in a different constellation yet, and now you notice that it's in the constellation Pisces. So I'm just going to take a quick stop, write down a time, and so at time 227 hours and a few minutes and seconds, the sun is now located in the constellation Pisces. Now you may be wondering, the sun is approaching the edge of my celestial sphere what happens when it suddenly disappears from view? When the sun disappears from view behind the celestial sphere, all you do is you simply check the rotate, rotate celestial sphere box, allow the celestial sphere to rotate, the sun will have disappeared, and once the celestial sphere comes back into view, you simply uncheck the box again, and now you can follow the sun moving across the sky. I'm going to check. There's no stars here. It's still in the constellation Pisces, and so I will continue to watch the, the sun. This is again a lab where you have some free time to maybe work on your introduction 
and some of your other comments as you work through the lab. Just make sure you don't get distracted and miss the sun passing through a particular constellation on the celestial sphere. And please remember to write down a time for each of those constellations to verify that you've been tracking the sun as it moves through the celestial sphere. And again, please don't be hesitant to write down a 13th constellation that you may not necessarily or normally think of as being part of the zodiac, but which now the sun actually does pass through. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. For these purposes, you do not need to measure the length of the day or the length of the year, as is shown in the check your answers box here. To identify the order of the constellations, you just simply need to click and drag, and you can move these constellations around until you have them in the order that matches the order in which you've observed them. You can start with any constellation. If you remember, I started with Aquarius, Aquarius and my next constellation was Pisces, and I would continue to move constellations. Once you have the correct order, you will check your answer. Um, obviously, I didn't put them all in the right order, so I get a message that says this is the wrong order. When you give the correct order, please make sure to get a screenshot and include that in your lab report. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.